Hello everyone! <laughs> Apparently my microphone has been off this whole time. Um, I am working on my layout. That's what I was trying to say. And apparently I was going out off a mile a minute. And I, um, you guys couldn't hear a word I was saying. There we go. So, silly Ari. Hey Loki! Hi! I loved you on screen and congratulations on making affiliate. It it's not Ari stream without microphone. I know, mishaps. I know. I know. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be creating your own med kit card. So it's for like get well cards, or if you have, you know, you want to show some love to your your uh, hospitals or whatnot. This would be the perfect thing to do. Dev, give her a microphone, Miss Hap <laughs> counter. Thank you, Loki. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Thank you for being up so early. I know you guys had a very late stream last night. All right. Let me get all. I'm a little discombobulated this morning because we were trying to set up uh, the layouts and stuff like that. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep this layout because. I don't know, it looks a little busy, but I'll see if I'll make it work. It might work for some an, another streamer, but I don't know, I'm not feeling this layout. Woke up naturally. I usually wake up after sleeping for, for seven hours. Oh, okay, I didn't know that, Loki. It's very Ari, though. Thank you. You think it's very Ari? Oh, I like that. All right, let's get on with today's project what you will need you'll need a card obviously you can either make one or have one pre-done since i'm a little discombobulated i am going to be doing one that's already pre-done but what color do i want since this is going to be a get well card let's start with a yellow one that's very nice and sunny here's the envelope move that to the side all right you're gonna need a you may need a cutting tool i normally keep this in handy because it you know it always seems to be coming in handy you may need some scissors you will need some glue you may need a bone folder um you probably won't need this unless you are making a card on the actual cricket and of course you need a mat and your colors. Today we're going to be working with black, white, yellow, red, gray, and this beautiful uh, handmade, um, oh my goodness, my mind went a blank, handmade paper. I thought I put this on, uh, uh, let me just go to the next one. There we go. Where people are saying, yeah, I was right. Up to 9.5, up to 9.59 getting that interface set up. I got to top do, doing that stresses her out too. Oh yeah, you did. You She was literally on my, uh, on my computer up to 9.59 am right today up to the line and i'm like oh why do you keep doing this to me dev this is the second time he has gotten me uh like a few minutes before i start yesterday was with breakfast today is with my layout tomorrow who knows <laughs> he probably will have it like at 10 o'clock i know i know this dev don't don't even anyway these are the things you're going to need. And I need my tea because this coffee is actually making my tummy really upset. Because he had, uh, let's see, Loki says, because he wants to make sure that everything is perfect. Hey, Uni. Hey, Uni. Thanks for stopping to buy. Wow, I got a whole mess of people online today. That is really cool. I feel so honored. Oh, I went to the wrong area. All right. All right, you guys, you're going to learn some stuff. I don't even know if you even like cricket. I don't even know if you have cricket, but you're going to learn how to use it. All right, 
Today we're going to be making a medical kit SVG on the Cricut. Technically it's not an actual SVG, it's just what you can use within Cricut. Because if it was an SVG, you can port it out and use it in other areas, like on Twitch. If it was an actual SVG, you can actually import this on Twitch, but you cannot. This is something that is strictly for Cricut and can be used on Cricut. <clears throat> so what I did, I, I created, ooh, I just, that just came out right off. These are the medical supplies that we'll be creating today. And this is my little helper. This little penguin is going to be my conduit, my, my thing that's going to be holding everything. And I'm going to show you how to do every single one. Now, guys, again, <clears throat> I know you guys are supporting me and I thank you for that. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. But you don't have to stick around if you don't want to. <laughs> your nurses. Yeah, support your nurses. You can literally send this to a hospital and give it to nurses as encouragement. Because they're the ones that are, are like with the sick people every single day. From the elderly to the to the young. And this, song, these, this music is still too loud in my ear. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. There we go. It's hard to smacks Loki and Uni on stream. <laughs> it was smacked. You guys are so weird. All right. I'm going to shrink this. Okay. I'm going to shrink this. And I'm going to show you how to make every single image you see here. Let's start off with the syringe. I kind of showed a little bit about it um, yesterday, uh, but you guys probably won't see this on YouTube for a couple of weeks. So you Twitch users are the real MVPs because you get to see this early. So you take a square and you elongate it, take it off the lock and make yourself a rectangle. You get yourself, nope, you don't get that. Get yourself a triangle and flip it. Are you guys horse playing around in my, my channel? All right. I'm going to, let me see if I can get a little closer. Ooh, baby, I went the wrong way. All right. I'm going to shrink this. And now I'm, it's going to look kind of like a crayon, to be honest. All right, that's perfect. And I'm going to weld. Do, 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 do. If you wanted to make a crayon, there you go. You got yourself a crayon. But we're going to make this look into a, a syringe. Nope, I'm still getting away. No chains can hold me. Aren't we always? <laughs> you guys are so weird. Stop playing on my channel. <laughs> you guys are... I thought you came here to learn. Let me teach you something. All right, you grab yourself another square and we're gonna elongate it the other way into a tiny little uh, rectangle. Let's align everything to make sure that this is uh, right in the center. So we're going to align, I think it's horizontally. Yes, and then we weld. All right, so far so good. Now. We're going to be making a T to fit right on top. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it off the lock. And we're going to be making a Mr. T T. I'm going to rotate this, but over here to rotate 90 degrees. Can't be targeted. Oh my goodness. You guys are still playing in my channel. You guys are little kids. You... Devlin, Loki, and Uni. You all <laughs> remind me of kids in the school ground. Seriously. Okay, got that right in the middle. And that's that looks like a pretty good T, so I'm just going to weld. And then I'm just going to 
make this small enough that it could fit in here. Let me take this off the lock and elongate it to where I want it to go. If not here, then where? Your own channels! Go play in your own channels! Seriously! Alright, do I want it this low? Hmm... You know, I think... Let me cut this down a little bit. So if I can't play here, where can we go? Go outside! That would be a perfect place for you guys to play. Literally, go outside. All right, I'm slicing this off, and that's the size I really want. All right. I'm going to put this right in the middle. Good. Now, I'm going to duplicate this because I want this right on top. And I'm going to weld everything else. Ooh, I went too far up. And weld. All right, so far, so good. I'm gonna make this a dark gray. I'm gonna make this a light gray. There we go. Move that back. No, this is still too dark. I'm gonna have to lighten this up a little. That looks pretty good. <coughs> Let's see what you guys are all saying. Midget, be, by the way, is watching her teacher's school today. Oh, that's right. Our teachers are so stinking awesome. The, they contacted us and the school basically said, if you teachers want, if you teachers want, you can go ahead and um, set up classrooms, online classrooms for your kids, but you don't have to. And the teachers are like, no, no, we want to teach our kids. Let me pull that back. <coughs> ah! <coughs> Ooh, that's the second time. Ooh! What else do we got? I am not streaming yet. Too early. I want to eat breakfast first. Go, Loki, Loki. Go eat. No, there's people out there. And people are... <laughs> which is bad for me. And my mental stability. I can understand that. All right. We're going to grab another square and we're going to tilt this just a little bit, maybe a little more. And we're going to try to cover the top portion of this because we don't need it. And we're going to slice this off. You guys are a big old distraction. You know that here I am trying to teach people how to use their cricket, you know, make cards and other cute stuff. And you're just like horse playing around in my, my channel. Shame on you both. All three of you. Shame on you. <laughs> All right. Now that I have the shape that I'm looking for, I'm going to just make it a little smaller. <laughs> Thank you, Loki. <laughs> All right. And this is going to look like my liquid, the liquid that's inside um, the syringe. But I'm not done yet. I need to make my needle here. I'm going to grab myself another square, take it off the lock, and make it super thin. And I'm going to grab myself another block because all syringes have this little small beveled edge at the tip to poke you at, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's necessary to get like medicine in me. All right, so slice. And take this off, take this off. And you got yourself a little pointy, needly uh, edge. <laughs> All right, I'll, I have the the big part and this highlighted together, and I'm going to see if I can make this in the center. There. Now I'm going to weld, and then move this to the back. It's a pretty big syringe, if you ask me. <coughs> Have you not seen what we do in each other's chat? Well, more speci specifically Jimmy's chat. You know why? Oh, I've seen you guys on every channel. And you guys, oh, you do make life interesting. I will say that. All right. We have officially made our syringe. 
So let me move that right over here. Next, we're going to do the medical kit. Can you guys hear me okay? Is is this music too loud? How, how, how am I coming out? Over. <clears throat> Man, my allergies are kicking in something awful. Okay. You are perfect. Thank you. I, okay. I, I'm glad to hear that I'm perfect. <laughs> All right. We're going to grab ourselves a box and we're going to grab ourselves a circle. Or should I say a square and a circle? These are the only things that you need to make this particular case right here. So for the handle, you duplicate your circle and make it slightly smaller. Now this is a preference for you. You can make the, the handle pretty thick or pretty thin. It's up, up to you. But the most important part is once you do, you need to make sure that this is a line in the center. So you go horizontally center and hor horizontally vertical. And then you slice. You got yourself a nice little ring. All right, duplicate your box. And depending on the height of what you want it to look like, you can have it like a small handle or a large handle. This time around, I think I'll give it a nice big handle. Actually, I don't, I don't think I really need to do much other than, yeah, I think I could do that. I was gonna make it difficult for myself. I'm just taking the circle, making it smaller and then but I do want this a little longer. There we go. That's the size that I want. But I need to make sure that this is in the center. So I'm going to go align horizontally and weld. There. There you go. So there's your case. What do you got going on here? Uh, nah, you're fine, Ari. I... I'd let you know if audio was off and Dev would go and would be and Dev would go to you and correct it. Yeah, he would. Like a hundred percent. A square circle. <laughs> it's a squared circle. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna change this to red. And now I'm gonna make myself the little medical cross. So I'm just going to grab myself a circle, I'm a circle, a square. You see what you're doing to me, Loki? You see? You got me all, my squares and my circles mixed up. All right. I'm going to elongate this and then duplicate it. Put this align horizontally, vertically, and then I'm going to grab the top, go to rotate, and now instead of... 90 degree angle. So this is right smack in the middle. I don't have to do anything to it other than weld. And then add the color white. Good. Then you shrink it to fit inside my little medical container here. I wonder if I can do, what's that game that actually has a medical kit? A med kit? It's like an iconic med kit. Is it Half-Life? No, it wasn't Half-Life. It's like an older game and it has an iconic med kit. And I, once I remember it, I want to make that med kit. <laughs> Dead by Daylight? Eh, no, it's older than Dead by Daylight. Oh... Is it Borderlands med kit? I can't remember. It'll come to me. And once I figure it out, I'm going to try to see if I can make it on the cricket. Duke Nukem! That might be it. I think that's an iconic med kit in Duke Nukem. Quake? I have to look at Quake's medical kit to see if that if that's the case. But I think I'm thinking Duke Nukem. He has a very iconic med kit. All right, let's do a band-aid. So we're going to need a, a square and a circle. So all the thing about these two shapes is because is that they fit perfectly once they're in the middle. And I 
think I got this. No, no, no. It's over too close to one side. Uh, a line left. Yeah. Duplicate. Okay. That should be perfect. I'm going to weld. And there we go. We got the bases of the back of our, 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 our band-aid. And all we need now is another square. Get this. But I think it's Duke Nukem that I'm actually thinking of. That's not the color that I wanted. I wanted brown. That's too brown. Uh, what color is this? It's an orangey color. There we go. Alright. I'm going to put this right in the center and put this white. Of all these people talking. Okay, I'm going to put this right in the middle, horizontally and vertically. <clears throat> I'll, I'll click on that link after the stream because I think that's what I'm thinking about. That's Duke Nukem's med kit. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta look at it after the stream. But if it's correct, if I can't do it on the Cricut, I'm going to try to do it on the silhouette and make stickers out of them. Because I, for whatever reason, I've been thinking about the specific med kit ever since I made this tutorial. And I'm like, I really want to make that med kit from that game. And I can't remember the game. All right. I've got myself a little circle here. And I'm going to duplicate it four times. Kind of looks like a little face now. Here are the eyes. And here's the mouth. By the castle. I wanna make me the queen. Okay, I gotta make these straight because it's actually bug bothering me. Horizontally, yes. Horizontally. All right. Let me see if this is straight vertically. It is now. Mm -hmm. All right. I have. I'm going to cop, uh, group this together. Uh, can I group them? Yes, I can. And I'm going to turn these a soft yellow. And duplicate. So there we go. We got ourselves. Now, if you can see, my circles are, look smaller than what it is here. And I wanted to try something different to see if it would work. Uh, maybe. The big ones look better. Which one do you think looks better? Oh. Let me move this like that. Which one looks better? Smaller circles or larger circles? What do you guys think? I know it takes a few minutes for you, for you guys to, to respond. I don't know if it's Doom. Smaller. Okay. The smaller ones work better. I had a feeling that was the case. Alright. Group. Are you grouping? I don't think so. Nope. It's not. I don't understand why once I highlight and group, it won't. But if I do attach, they do. But... It all changes to one color, which I don't particularly care for. Anyway, let me just shift this to the side. And there we go. We got one, two, three. And the last one is our our little medicine bottle. And very much like we I've been doing before, I'm just going to be grabbing myself a square and turning it into a rectangle. Copying it, taking it off the lock, and elongating the other the other direction. Now you can make your medicine bottle look thick, thin. It, it's really all up to you. There's so many types of medicine bottles out there. Could do another set of smaller to fit a two by three. That's true. All right, I'm gonna duplicate the top because that's gonna be my the top the the top of my lid. And I'm going to make this in the middle. 
put this in the middle. So I'm going to go center horizontally and weld. And I've changed the color to, what color is this, orange? Straight to the castle. Yeah, it is orange. Yeah. And then I'm going to change this white. And move it to the front. <coughs> All right. So, ooh, I moved it too far. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this right in the center horizontally and then move it to the top. Left, right, top. There we go. Now we only need the label, which again is just a square. And then you can fit it right in there and then change the color. And there we go. And if you're not too happy with the size, you can always elongate it after. And there you go. Take it back off, put it back on the lock. Ta da! We've officially made our med medical stuff, but we need a little helper, which that's where this little guy comes in. All right, to make my little helper, could do another, oh yeah, I already read that. I'm gonna grab myself a circle and a triangle and maybe a pentagon tool. And a square. Might as well get everything out here. So I don't have to keep going back for it. All right, grab myself a circle and duplicate it. I'm gonna take it off the lock and make him a little chubbier. Like that. Make sure it's, he's in the center. All right, good, good. But before I do that, I'm gonna need another circle and I'm going to weld all this together. Change the color of that to white and I may need this again later. So here's the body. I'm going to have to move this guy back. All right. Duplicate that and I'm going to make the eyes and I'm just going to take it off and Make it slightly askew and then do it again and make it smaller. All right, select all three white areas and then weld. That's my eyes. These are my eyes. And then I'm going to change this color into black. Are you guys all tucking on Discord now? Because you're done fooling around. Because <laughs> you stopped talking in my channel. Alright, I'm going to move everything back. Back, back, back. Oh, that is very unusual. Highlight. This is not coming up. Alright, well then I'll bring this to the front. Okay, that should work. There we go. And these are my eyes. Now I'm not going to weld those yet until I get my beak in place. And I need that circle right here. I'm going to flip it so the point is facing down. And I'm going to grab the circle, take it off the lock, and I'm going to put it from the edge and then stretch it. That's too big. Let me bring it down a little more. That's oh, still too big. There we go. I can see a little tip right there and I don't like it. There we go. This makes a pretty cool three-dimensional effect. So if you were trying to do like a cylinder for whatever reason, you could just change the color slightly. Like that. But since we're doing a beak, I'm highlighting everything and then I'm welding. And that is my beak. All right. 
Let me take this off the lock and elongate it to the size that I want. Yep, that looks good. So I'm just going to grab my little circles and weld. Front. Okay, so there's my little my little penguin thus far. And I guess I need more circles because I realized the feet and the pentagon are going to need it. I'm so handy. Oh, right. What do you guys got going on here? Nope. We are learning. Teach us. <laughs> you guys are so... Loki. Uh, nah. I stepped away and grabbed food and some water so I can take take my meds. Oh, okay. How are you feeling, by the way? I know a lot of people are still grabbing the... Still having the cold. Still having the flu. Back. Do I want forward? Yeah, I want it forward. All right, then. I put a circle over here. And I want my feet to be about that big. I'm going to slice. I don't want them that wide. All right. Let me adjust this to the size that I want. <laughs> All right, let me put it to the same color as the beak. Okay. You know, I'm going to weld these. Yeah, that looks so much better. This one I did individual. I think it looks cuter welded. Just fine. I'm not sick. It's, it's the genetic version of Adderall. Ah, ah, ah. All right, now for the medical hat, and this is the, an advanced version. The the my one on YouTube. It's just gonna show you this portion. On the Twitch version, it's gonna show you how to make the penguin, how to make the hat, how to make everything. It, so it, it's a cohesive project. I'm gonna flip this upside down. All right, grab my circle, and then take it off the lock. And slice the whole thing. Da, da, na, na. All right. Take it off the lock and then adjust this to the height that I want. And then change it to white. And this is going to be what sits right on top of my penguin's head. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to grab this little cross that I've already made, turn it red. And then make it fit right on top. And of course, he needs a couple of hands. So we're going to do is a circle and just elongate it a little. That's too big. Duplicate it. Because what I'm going to do, or at least what I'm going to have this little penguin do, is I'm going to grab this syringe, bring it forward, make it longer, take it off the lock because it's going to mess it up. Alrighty. It's going to hold this giant needle give me no I just want the flipper okay let's move you forward forward all right so he's gonna be holding it there you go you got yourself a nice little get well penguin right there let's see can you give me a coat? <laughs> you want a coat? I don't know if I can make you a coat. All right, which of these do I like better? Do I like this penguin better or do I like this one? Hmm. Hmm. Which one looks better here? Hmm. 
Number one or number two? Actually, I like number two's feet better. Front. I think I like this one better. I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, I think I like this one better. And I think it's because I had more time. I, I went back and forth on the size. No, give me a penguin coat. <laughs> oh, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> oh, give him a, uh, give the penguin a coat. Oh, you know, I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Well, that definitely, but then it would cover up his belly if I give him a coat. You know me, like a medical coat, like a white lab coat. No, I think he looks kind of cute plain like that because it makes him look like, yeah, that's what you meant. I kind of, I kind of want him to, to look like a penguin. Otherwise he'll lose his, a lot of his info. Uh, but if you really want a coat, let's see if I can actually do that. All right, let me move the syringe here. You're going to be my test subject. All right, Mr. Man. I'm going to weld this together. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, let's see if I can do a little lab coat for this guy. I'm going to grab the back, duplicate it, because that's my biggest... I may need this as well. All right. Let's see. I need a square. Hmm. Delicious. We all got to know. Let's see. I'm going to have to weld these two together. And then I have to slice it with the back. Slice, 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 slice. All right. Kind of looks like a ladybug now. And then I need to give it a collar. starting to look a lot like Dr. Evil. <laughs> I don't know. Is it just me or is this penguin the coat that I'm making look very Dr. Evil-ish? I think it's just me. Alright. So let's change this. What color do, do nurses wear? Is it green? Is it white? I, I want to say it's green. Am I, am I incorrect here? Weld. Okay. Let me put this to the front. Uh, front. Hmm, why is this not fitting? It should fit. There we go. Like that? That's a penguin. Oh, and penguins! <laughs> they can have scrubs that have patterns on them. That is true. Does it look like it's having... Does it look like it's a scrub? Do I go, did I went, go too far? I don't know. It looks like it, his scrub is popping. His belly is popping out. That looks good. Okay. That looks like a scrub. Okay. Well, now you know. You can actually make yourself a little penguin scrub. Oh, come back here. All right. 
I gotta put this to the front. And I had to put the little paws back in the front. That's the only thing. If I move something to the front, I need to move everything else to the front. There we go. How's that? How's that look? Should be a pattern on the penguin. Well, you can actually make, a, you know, like for example, if you make the, the template, all you have to do is just grab yourself some pattern paper. So if you want it like green with or with whatever pattern that you want, you just cut it out and it'll be right on top. Looks great. Thank you. I appreciate that. But for our tutorial purposes, let me take off the scrubs. No, not the syringe. All right, I'm just going to have to grab it here and here and then move it. And it still somehow grabbed the syringe. I don't I don't understand this. Can I can I has this? Nope. Nope. It's basically telling me you need to remove this first before you can do anything else. I'm like, all right, fine. I'm not going to argue with you, Cricket. I'm really not. All right, here's my syringe. I mean, my, my garbs. But all we're going to be using today is just these guys right here. All this, all this that I have worked on goes away. Wait, this is not the penguin that I wanted. <gasps> no, this is the penguin that I wanted. This is the pig that I wanted. Now this all goes away. The main reason I do that is so when I work with my machine, my machine will be like, okay, I'm just doing this. Right now, this image sits at 3.72 by 4.47. That's a little too big. Because my card here is a standard A2 size card. So let's see here. Move all these papers. Yeah, this is a, this card itself sits at four by five and a half. So that image is way too big. I need to make this this guy a little smaller. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. All right, two by three, maybe a little smaller, two by two. We've already seen in my previous um, streams that two by two is still pretty big. So I'm just gonna, I, I know he looks really small, but trust me, he's not. He's actually pretty big. That's too small. There you guys see, so you guys can see him better. All right. How many colors do I have here? I have one, two, okay, this yellow right here, and the black. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have seven pages. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. 4.25 by five, five and a half. That's so big though. You want me to cut the image that big? That's going to be, that's going to be super big. It has to fit within the, the card itself. And I'm not, I'm not doing a border. I'm, what I want to do is I want my penguin to be the focal point. So what I'm going to do is just going to have him sit on right on top. And then I'm going to write underneath, get well. That's the car side. Oh, oh, oh. It's 2.5. Are you sure? Five and a half. Oh, yeah, you, you're right. It's not four. I was seeing it here, but it's not. It's 2.5. You are correct. You're so smart, Uni. Thank you for that. Okay. Who is my first victim? Let's go to make it and find out. Oh, I'm on the... All right. 
My first victim is white. Who's next? Oh. Do you see that? Do you guys see that? What? Oh, that's so weird. I don't know what is going on. But you guys saw that, right? Yeah, yeah. Devlin, yeah, you need it. That was weird. Okay. That, it's doing it again. Look. Look at that. I wonder if it would cut it that way if I didn't move it. All right. Good, good for you guys to see that. All right. Let's see. Okay. In the circles also. All right. All right. Let me just adjust these because they're, they're all over the place. Ah, technology. It's amazing sometimes. All right. I remember when I don't remember. There's my little cross. Do I have any others? There you go. Oh man. There's okay. There's my the inside of my syringe. Uh, let's try this. It looks like a tiny butt. <laughs> I'm just look at that. It's like it looks like a butt. <laughs> Uh, see what you guys are rubbing up on me now. I'm starting to see things. I gotta love that programming. Fix one bug and you get and create 5,000 more. Right, Loki? Right? Uh, all right. My f oh, wait. Uh, go back. All right. <gasps> no device. Oh, okay. There we go. It's looking for my machine. It's looking for my machine. We barely robbed off on you. You guys are all... No, you're... It's not even barely. You guys have all seasoned me with all your corruptedness. You're barely even tainted. Ah! I... <laughs> Alright, do I have any score lines? No, I do not. So everything should be hunky-dory. Alright, let's go back here. And my first victim is white. Alright. I should have found a scrap white, honestly, because I'm now I'm creating this as a scrap. And I do not particularly care for that. No, no, we've got to take you so much more further. Yeah, you guys are awful. Although, what you guys did to on DVD last night was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. You ran around that killer in lockers so hard. <laughs> oh, that, that was, that was epic. That was so epic. You guys should play more games like that. All right. Okay. Am I good? Am I golden? You guys can see. You guys can see. Where am I? Where am I? Right there. Up here. You can see that all I got to do is just push my little button. And it is cutting. Right up there. Showing it. Right there. All right. Okay, am I good? Am I golden? Yeah. All right, I need something to put this in. Where's my handy dandy little lid? Which I somehow chucked somewhere. I don't know why I do these things to myself. Here we go, I'll use this guy. It's not the same one, but he'll work. Put that right there. Eh, at, at least a nurse learned. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the uni that you guys were doing the worst to. That poor uni. The demon was... Yeah, he was. He wasn't the smartest brick on the block, you know? The sharpest tool in the shed. That was hilarious. I did not laugh so hard 
in ages watching a game. That was hilarious. All right, my next one is dark, dark gray. Uni is pronounced Oni. Oh, I did not know that. Thank you, Loki. Oni, not Uni. Oni. Doesn't Oni mean demon or ogre? I think it means ogre. Oni means ogre. I think I've just been pronouncing it long, uh, wrong all these years. Yes. Thank you, Uni. Yeah. I remember that from, uh, okay, just this, this. Um, I've been a long watcher of anime, and this, the first time I've ever heard Oni was on, it's an old anime called Fujiyugi. Fujiyugi. That was the first anime I got introduced that was a very long series. I was so entranced by the story and there were seven seals and one of the seals which was a guardian name he had a, the symbol of the ogre on top of it uh, etched into his forehead and it was oni and I, however the english translation said uni so i've been saying it wrong all these years all right next one is lighter gray so thank you English translation for saying it wrong all these years and me you know as an uncultured swine think was thinking oh yeah that's perfectly fine <laughs> Oni can be either one ogre or demon that is also true yeah and Fujiyugi uh, he had the strength the strength of an of a demon or an ogre and people feared him and he was kind of a le um, an outcast because of it because of the symbol that kept popping up on his forehead people steered clear of him because he had that uh, that um, symbol on his head but he turned out to be a real nice guy it just people treated him like trash Let's see. That cause they that causes they didn't know how to pronounce it back then. That's so true. Gotta remember they just watched it back then. That is also true. I mean a lot of I think this was done like in nineteen ninety eight. That's probably why, and that makes a lot of sense. At least that's when I we saw it was in 1998. A lot of the anime back then would only come out every seven years. So whenever I wanted to watch something, it wasn't like in today's standard that you have Crunchyroll or Anime Kiss or anything like that. You couldn't go onto the computer because they didn't exist at the time. You had to wait for a VHS. There was no such thing as DVD at the time. Let's see. Yeah. And a lot of the pronunciation was done in error. For example, I just found out that dark types in Pokemon isn't called dark type. It's a mistranslation. It's supposed to be evil. And in Japan, it's considered as such. It's considered evil, not dark type. Fujiyugi, yeah. She, yeah, she has that. Who has that? Let me cut that. Yeah, she has that. Yeah, I have Fujiyugi. I have the whole stinking series on, originally on VHS, and then I rebought it in, in DVD format. Like, the set was huge it was huge because of course the VHS's were like that thick ah Fujiyugi I don't think it came out in 1998 but it, the art style looks very 1998-ish I could be mistaken it could have come out like 2000 or 2001 but the art style looks very 
80s and 90s. And who knows, that might be the case. Like I said, uh, VHSs from Japan were like seven years interval. So something that they had created in 1998 would have just come out like seven years later. And then I got indoctrinated with Sailor Moon and oh, I literally lost my mind. What do I got? I got red. So all I'm doing is just grabbing my pieces, following the instructions, putting on tape. That's all I'm doing. There's nothing else I'm doing. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It cuts it out for me so I don't have to. I used to do these things by hand. And believe me, that gave me a lot of arthritis. I mean, this saves me a lot on my hands. And as I'm getting older, it just doesn't, it doesn't, uh, doesn't help that it, my hands hurt a lot more. And cut. My first anime was Ron. I knew it would be Uni. <laughs> I had a feeling Ranma would have been your first one. Fushi Ugi. Yeah, I'm saying it incorrectly, I'm sure. But again, I only know it from the English translation. Look at this tiny little piece. Oh, I should have used scrap. But I was scrambling, honestly, this morning after Dev was playing around with my my template that I'm like, oh, I gotta, I, I gotta figure out what colors I need. So I just grabbed full pages and now these have officially become scraps that I need to tweak. All right, my next one is pink, which is this beautiful little bubbly. I wanted this bubbly because it kind of looks like medicine, like stuff that would be inside of medicine. At least that's my version. Mine is NGE. What is NGE? Believe me, anything new, I would love to know. How how did I know, Uni, that, that Ranma was... Because Ranma at the time was number one. It This was... Ranma was bigger than uh, Dragon Ball Z at the time. Dra Dragon Ball Z didn't even come to the scene until Ranma did. And I need a cut. Oh, Neon Genesis of Evangelion. You know, I saw the whole series. I, it, I don't know. It, I can't honestly say that was one of my favorites. I want to like it. I really do. But the ending was a bit disappointing. And I saw both endings. I didn't really, really care for the ending. the The whole premise it was it's almost self defeating. It's a dad that doesn't really care for his his son. He's more interested in the wife he lost, and he recreates her um, as Ren. And they're all fighting these weird looking angels. I don't know. I've been trying to get into it. It's just. It's, it's too depressing for me. And I guess that's just me. Green. Not red. You know, again. Again. I know you guys are going to correct me. On my Japanese pronunciation. I am an uncultured swine. I'm telling you people. I'm telling you. Green. We. Three. Uh, I'm just gonna. I, I'm English is hard for me already. You guys <laughs> don't add in Japanese into the mix. <sighs> I'm just gonna say Ren from this point on and aggro a lot of you people. Not an uncultured, just not taught or corrected for for what the path. Yeah. I guess I still prefer uncultured swine because I don't know any better. It's like basically giving, you know, pearls pearls to pigs. They they don't know what they're doing. They have no need for it. All right. Here is my You know what I didn't do? I didn't do. That's eh, fine. I I can write underneath. 
So this is the direction. Actually, no, this is the direction. Pearls before swines. Yes, yes, I know. But if you gave me a pearl, I'd be like, what am I supposed to do with this? I have no idea. Okay. Here are our pieces. Here is our glue. I don't think we need much of anything else. Maybe this little guy. Let's see. Do I want to shade? No, I think I want to keep this guy pretty clean. All right. Let's stack these layers. All right. I see some tape still stuck to them. Kind of looks like a dress, doesn't it? A very voluptuous dress. Mississippi. All right, I'm gonna just press this down just a little bit. Yes, you. Yes, you would. You're a crafter. I'm sure you would make something out of it. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I look at pearls. I'm like, why is this even here? Do I need this? Probably not. So there's my little syringe. Which side do I want it? I kind of like that side. One's lighter than the other. And I think I like the darker one better. Yeah. Ooh, I put too much glue. No! This is going to leak out everywhere. All right. And all I'm doing now is just trying to fit this into my syringe. Give it a nice little border. That looks pretty good. Here's the, the top portion of it. So how y'all doing today? You doing pretty good? What does Loki say? Oh my, oh my bad. I Apparently, Fuji Ugi was first licensed to Gen Gen One Entertainment, and is now under Media Blasters, who re-released the entire DVD back in two thousand and one and two thousand thirteen. So, when was it originally released in Japan? Because the anime art style looks very nineteen eighties. All right. I think I got out of out of frame. Yeah, I did. All right. I need to put this down. I can see it popping up. Ah, it's stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. And this is also popping up. That's the only thing about glue is it likes to bow and pop up before it actually sets. And But the good thing about it, it does give you a little bit of wiggle room to set everything. Unlike double-sided tape that once you set it, you can't move it. In Japan, for anime releases, it was 1995 to 96. 52 episodes. Yep. I gotta tell you, I was lucky to actually see it in 1998. Because I, once it was released, I, I wouldn't have not seen it. Until years later. Years. I was so smitten by that. By that anime. I it, I don't know what to tell you. It was just so. The story was so gravitating. The characters were very lively. It was the first thing I've ever saw. That I was like wow. This is an actual soap opera. In anime form. I like it. And believe me. Coming from a household that, you know, drama such as Betty La Fea or, uh, oh my goodness, there was this real drama in his, uh, from Colombia called Slave Girl. Oh my goodness. That was, that was something else. Colombians, oh, they know how to do drama. Like for reals. It's so passionate and so full of, like, true to life. While in Mexican um, dr dramas, they, they're like, they're trying to be PC about it. But Colombian, it was just like, nope, here's the raw truth. 
this is how it was we're, we have no shame and we're okay with that all right now I can make this little hat on the side or in the middle let's see you know what I'm gonna make you a proper nurse I'm gonna have you right in the middle so about four and a half seasons Japanese with how they they do seasons yeah and I when I was growing up they only had subtitles it wasn't until they got to the DVD portion that they actually started doing English so I had to do a lot of reading which was not honestly I think my teacher back in the day she was just like oh you like anime here read this because reading was super hard for me and the way she got me to read was she gave me manga and she was ahead of her time honestly and she's like you know if you like that you should probably look at a couple of anima she she recommended Hamtaro at the time and you know Hamtaro was cute and, and stuff but it had a lot of reading because it was only Japanese subtitles but I think she did that deliberately uh, so I would read sneaky teacher <laughs> sneaky sneaky teacher <laughs> all right I don't know if the yellow if the beak and the feet kind of get lost I may have to do a bit of shading all right I'm gonna put my little syringe right there hmm now do I want to pop this up or not I think not but I think I'll have the hands pop up yeah anime was a, a big lit, um, outlet for me I loved anime after that I started drawing anime and I was like I want to be I want to be not an animator but I wanted to do the 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 um like the character building I didn't want to animate it I wanted to create the, the characters that's what I wanted to do creature building if you will okay let me get my little dots I didn't think I was gonna need them but I did say that you needed your scissors and I was right on that part I don't know I almost graduated too so close I was only one year away from graduation but life happens people need uh, to survive and I had to quit school not by choice but you know it's fine it led me down to a different path which at first I did regret, but I, I, I see now why I'm on this path when I didn't before. Character building, yeah. I That's what I really enjoy was the character building of it. It wasn't so much the animation, it was just the creating the characters. There we go, look at that. This is cute, I love it. But I, he needs a bit of shading. So I'm going to grab my colored pencil here and let's see I'm just going to darken it just a little so he does his feet don't get lost this penguin still wants to come up there you go and I can do a little faux there we go Ah, oh, he's still trying to pop up. All right. I mean, I can always go back to school. It's nothing that's stopping me. And now that everything is online, I could probably do that. But the expense of it is astronomical. Just to get my degree. And I don't know if that's an expense that I want to, to do. 
I mean, I, I could even go on to Skillshare and learn the skill and not get the diploma. And there are several people that have the skills and don't have their diploma. Let me do the beak. How's it looking, guys? Does it look weird? You can tell me. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. I might cry in the corner for a little bit, but I can handle it. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. All I need now is to write get well. And watch me totally nerf this. Okay. I think it's a lost art actually using a pen. Get. Well. Did I nerfed it? Bah! The Demola just says you were trained in the inst institution that has rec recognized that you have passed the course's requirements that they have set for you. Yes. Yes, it is. And I kind of want to be acknowledged that I know the skills to do what I know how to do. But... Ironically enough, no one taught me how to do SVGs. I learned that all on my own. And I don't have a diploma saying that I know my stuff. Although, time and time again, you guys seen the stuff that I can do just using basic shapes. On a, on a system that doesn't allow you to keep the SVGs. Now, Silhouette on the other hand... And does give you the ability to convert it that well. Experience di dictates that you have the skills with or without formal training. You are also correct, Uni. You and Loki are on the same page. And I agree with you. But sometimes having validation, having a piece of paper saying, Hey, you did it, is kind of comforting. Although the price tag that goes with it, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with. Let's see. Will this pop up if I actually do this? I don't know. No. Let's see here. What goes well with yellow? I could do black. Do I even have black? I don't think so. I don't think I do have black. Huh. The fundamental... I have white, but I don't have black. That is so weird. Let me just get something darker. <laughs> Alright. I think... I'm pretty good. I mean, you can put whatever sentiment you want underneath your little get well. You can say, uh, I heard you say achoo. <laughs> that would be pretty cute. I heard you say achoo, and that's why she, the little penguin has a needle. There we go. Nothing too fancy. Let's see what Loki says. I don't have an AA in culinary arts yet. I nearly became a kitchen manager at my second job and was, and have become an unofficial sous chef. Sous chef. <laughs> sous chef. For three of the five kitchens I've been. But that's the thing. If you start from the bottom and 
they teach you how it is to be a you know a line cook and and prepping and everything you don't really need a degree because you have real world experience in an actual field that you're in for the field that I am in I I haven't been contracted by an actual business like uh like I was trying to get into silhouette and I I submitted all my SVGs and I was basically rejected and I've been thinking about submitting these kind of things to Cricut but I I don't know if I want to go through uh, that again you know then just keep trying I you know I should I shouldn't give up if if Abraham Lincoln could be turned down to be in the presidential seat 13 times I could probably do it a couple more times and get rejected right <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for stopping on by thank you Loki Uni Devlin for stopping into my stream it really makes my time go faster and very entertaining hopefully you guys learned how to use your how to do make basic shapes into something I mean, you can put this into um, the very same lessons, circles, um, pentagons, triangles, and rectangles into, say, illustrator or silhouette. You can still get the same results. Yep. No. <laughs> it's the least worrisome thing to have happen because it just means you have even more room to grow. So true, Loki. Which is a great thing. Thank you on that. That That is a very good note to leave it off. Alright you guys. You have a beautiful day. Thank you for stopping on by. I know it's still super early. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep crafting. Keep learning. And if you find something from somebody else. Keep. What's 07? 07? 07? 5, 6, 5, 6, 7. Oh, 07. What's 07, Loki? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, 07 is a little guy. Oh, saluting. Oh, oh, that's what it is. It's an emote. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye now.